I'm gonna go with miner, so that if I need to I can craft by hand. And by that I mean the miner is capable of converting ores into plates without using a furnace. I will show an example with this copper here. Look, copper ore. I click on intermediate products. Oh look, I can handcraft some copper plates. Something that I realised when I was playing my latest playthrough was that I was having difficulty getting the electronics research going properly. So now that I have basics running, I'm going to show you how to do the electronics plants. So the next step, once we have these going, is we actually also need just want to go there. Uh, One long handed. Ah, that should have been turned on. Right, we now have tin and lead being produced as well. We could also go with silver to make lead free solder, but we don't need that. That's only really if you're low on lead and have already reached the point where you can waste silver on solder, and you actually just want lead free solder. So the next part of making electronics, now that we've got these resources going, is we might as well look at what research is required for electronics. We need the electronics research itself, which is off automation. As you can see, I've already researched automation, so we need to research electronics. Electronics requires carbon and solder requires two metals being mixed so we need alloy processing to unlock the metal mixing furnace so that we can make our solder 
and we also need chemical processing unlocked so that we can unlock the chemical furnace to produce the carbon that we need. Okay, and I'm also going to unlock electronic assembly machines. It's optional, but it will help because we unlock a smaller version of the assembling machine that can only be used for electronic components. And I believe that should be everything required to make basic electronic circuits, sorry, basic electronic components and basic electronic board, which is the scope of this tutorial. So now that we have unlocked that research, we are going to need some. We're going to need some chemical and some metal mixing furnaces. Now, part of the advantage of choosing the minor class is that I can create these straight up because I can create stone bricks from stone ore in my hand, which would usually require a furnace. I'm not going to go into how much it costs resource wise to produce one item of resource of the next tier. You can figure out balance and efficiency of such things yourself. I'm just going to place metal mixing furnace here in a similar stance to how we've got these. Power pole between the two. Need to put power pole there to link them as well. We are going to need to bring it two different metals as an input, as well as fuel. So we're not bringing the, um, yeah, bring the lead across here, and the coal in here. Nah. Okay, so that should be the basic construction built. Now we need to go to Bob's Materials and set the recipe to solder plate. That is right, metal mixing furnaces do not automatically select the recipe. You have to do that manually. And after loading up a furnace, we can see it's running. Yeah. So we're now producing solder plate. The next thing we need to do is turn the solder plate into solder. Solder takes solder plate and resin. We have the solder plate, that means we're going to need some resin. Um, I don't think resin, let's have a look, resin, where's resin, resin, yeah. Resin cannot be made in an electronics assembling machine. We need to use a full assembling machine. Assembling machine. The output from said assembling machine is going to need to be an inserter. We need some more of those. There we go. One inserter. Some power there. It's going to need resin. Set as a recipe. And it's going to also need some wood as an input. So we now have an assembling machine producing resin. Let's redo it. So we now have an assembling machine producing resin, placing it on the upper side, opposite side of the same belt where we have our solder plates. We can now create some solder. It doesn't tell me what machine solder can be created in. I believe an electronics assembling machine should be able to create some solder. Solder. 
There we go. So we now have an assembling machine producing some solder. Summarize so far. Lead ore, tin ore, producing lead plates and tin plates. Comes over here into metal mixing furnaces to produce solder plates. We also have wood going into a standard assembling machine which produces resin. The solder plates and resin then fed into an electronic assembling machine, you can use standard assembling machines, to produce solder wire. Now that we have the solder wire production going, that's one of the additional components required to make our basic electronics board. There's two more to go, a basic circuit board and basic electronic components. To make a basic circuit board we first have to take our raw wood coming in from on this belt and we need to turn it into wood. Once we have wood we can turn it into wooden boards. Then we can look at making a basic circuit board. We're going to need to use a standard assembling machine to make the wood but then I believe we can use an electronics assembling machine to make the wooden board and basic circuit board if I am remembering correctly. So I'm going to place this here. This is going to make our wood. I'm going to use an electronics assembling machine to create wooden boards. And then another electronics assembling machine to create basic circuit boards. We're also going to use another electronics assembling machine to create some copper wires. So we need to have copper being fed in there. There we go. So we now have two of our three electronic components being built to make standard electronic circuit boards. We have solder wire and the basic circuit board. We now need to make electronic components. Electronic components are a bit different in how easy they are to produce. So I'm going to need to come down this way. We need produce electronic components, carbon and tinned copper wire. So we are going to need to create first tinned copper wire. To create tinned copper wire we need our copper wire which is already being produced here so I'm going to piggyback off that here. Set the recipe to tinned copper wire. It needs tin and copper wire. So we need to bring some of this tin down. So now that we have tin coming down, we are also producing tin copper wires. Our tin copper wires will be one of the components used in creating electronic components. This one's going to be electronic components. Let's put that off.
one of the components for tinned copper wires is carbon. So to make carbon we need one of these which is a chemical furnace. The chemical furnace is going to output carbon. You need to set the recipe manually. So we're going to put carbon on this belt here. This is going to need power. It needs two inputs. The inputs are water. Water. It also is going to need coal. And because it's nearby, I'm going to tap off this coal supply here. Okay, with a single coal supply here, it's going to put coal first into the fuel slot of the machine and then into the input of the machine. So fortunately, we can use coal as both the fuel and the ingredient to produce carbon. So we'll route our carbon up along the belt to where we were producing the rest of our electronic stuff. So when carbon finally reaches here, we will start to produce basic electronic components. So our factory is running, we are now producing electronic components. We need to now move across to, we're going to build another electronic assembling machine here, having configuration like this, a box on the output, oh yeah. and as you can see we now have all three ingredients being fed into the electronics factory producing basic electronic board and that's it you are now producing basic electronics boards these are a component to be able to create assembling machine 2 which is something that will be required to automate the production of all things that have at least three ingredients so all these that could not be automated production can now be automated in production so with Bob's mods your basic electronic circuits is a milestone for red science science pack 2 in my mod it's red science